We just go chop it up with the people, you know? Give them a little of this and a little of that. Not too much. Give them a little of this and a little of that. Fix me something to eat right quick. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people eat what they eat. This is what I eat 24 7. This is what I like to eat right here, baby. This is my dinner, my lunch, my breakfast. President Clinton. Make a little Barack Obama. Put y'all up on this real shit. Big Cotton Jacktown Gaming Commission in the building. What y'all know about that? What y'all know about that? You know. I think it's time for the world to understand who the gaming commission is because I think they've been getting twisted over the years. You understand? Can't never be loud. Got to always stay undetected. You know? But we're going to be where they be at. Get nothing but money. And represent number game, G A M E, getting all money easy. Jacktown Gaming Commission in the building. And I am your host, Big Cotton of the Jacktown Gaming. Hello, world. <laughs> That's all I want to say. You know, you've been around here a long time, you know. A lot of y'all know us, Big Cotton Promotions. You know, we started back in the early 90s with your boy St. Charles off that West Coast Big V management, Marshall Tubbs, y'all know him. Partner in crime, West Coast Gaming Commission, Jacktown Gaming, West Coast Division. Marshall Tubbs in the building, you know. Basically, you know, Gaming Commission been in the streets a long time. We started out promoting some of your biggest acts that helped the industry grow. He was a grassroots promotion company. First, uh, the music that we touched, they was blossoming, blossoming. You know, blossoming coming up. You you was hearing you was you were hearing about like your Master P, your E forty. You know, them people back in the day, we was messing with them too short. You know, and we kept working the ranks, working the streets, and instead of connecting, really planting seeds and doing grassroots promotion. I mean, people were getting, independent artists were getting real true sales, man. I'm talking about, you know, you don't know nothing about no record sales and how it go, boy, it's a hell of a thing. And um, we was out there actually in the street, man, promoting in these different cities, which we call the Chitlin Circuit. That, your chitlin circuit, you know, it consists of all your midwest, when well, you know, south mid western states, from Texas all the way back over to Carolinas down to Florida. You know, you all go as up far as up to Kentucky, Nashville, all the way back across forty. You know, that was known the chitlin circuit all down through your Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana. Shreveport, I-10, you hitting the whole I-10. We were running all that. We was touching that. That's when you had Gonzalez Wholesale, Southwest Distributors. You had all these independent. You had your peaches down in, in, in New Orleans. Miss Peaches had the, the record shop. 
you was touching all these spots, man. And then in these same spots, this was the trade. We was running all this. These these independents, they came from the real the streets. You know what I'm saying? We this you know really real real. It was going down like that. You know these real money was made out here. And um, that's big cotton promotions and big V man's when we was growing. We was growing to what you see now, the Jacktown Gaming Commission. That's us. West Coast Division, East Coast Division, Southern Division. And we could touch it. Anything from the executive, from the streets to the executive suites, we could touch it, anything, any music, anything. We we built like that. And like I said, we represent gang getting all money easy. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got a few, we got a lot of people out, you know, in the field. A lot of artists that we working with, the singers, working with movies now. We're doing movies, we want to say what's up to Mitty Creations, Muddy Water Motion Films. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a couple of entities that we work with, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and we putting together a lot of different things, a lot of different activities like Gaming Commission. We just obtained a 100 acre ranch where we putting a racetrack in Mississippi because of sports gambling. Now we now we putting us a horse track because they legalize sports gambling in Mississippi. So what better place to do it back home so we obtained a 100 acre ranch and now we putting together a track. Yeah, it's coming soon. Y'all will hear about it. Jakeville Downs right there in Bolton, right off 22. Uh, we in development of that now. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we got several projects on the way going down. We got King Clint King Flammer, uh, originally from Liberia, Liberia, Africa, by way of Kansas City, living in Kansas City right now. You know what I'm saying? He topping the charts a little bit. Y'all check him out. Go to... Uh, King Flamma 3 on, on the Instagram and on all the social media sites. King Flamma, that's F-L-A-M-A Flamma. Used to be, K -A AKA, he was formerly known as the KC Gift. You can go to the, say, see some of his old stuff, but, you know, the man, the young man been putting in a lot of work, and I've been had him since he was a young cat, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we still moving with charts and doing, you know, major stuff, you know what I'm saying? A lot of folks want to know, you know, what the commission got coming up. And like I say, we open for membership. Like I tell them, you know, we in order to, to move with us, you have to be a member. That's just bottom line. I'm be straight up with y'all out there that's listening, tuning in to this Gaming Commission Network. Um, you got to be a member. And they say, well, what, what members get by the, you know, by the way they do or whatnot. Whatever shows we do, any events, member plus one, and then any business venture that you want to do, just say, for instance, if we doing a show, you a vendor, of course you get to be a vendor. And all proceeds that you make go back to you. You know what I'm saying? You a paying member, so you you part of the commission. Anything we do in the moves we make, you can be part of it. But if you're not part of it, and that go for your police too. If you ain't members of our commission, you can't work for us. And that's just real. You got to be a member because you got to take the oath of uh, of the game and keeping it real. And that's just for the that's for you people out there that always ask me. What it take to be down with the commission? What it take to be down with the commission is to just want to be down and have the heart to go get it. And we do represent game getting all money easy. So you know what I'm saying? And we do get it easy because we know what to do. Now, for a lot of you artists out there want to get on these shows, I've been telling y'all, you have to be signed to Big V Management and the Gaming Commission Management before we put you on any of these events. And there's no thing, you know what I'm saying? Because we do marketing and promotions the radio, we do everything you need to get done, videos or whatever. I'm just trying to let y'all know because a lot of y'all be asking me these questions out there. Then, you know, a lot, you know, I run across a lot of these young cats that's in the music and, oh, you old and woo, woo, woo. But I'm going to tell you something. You can't walk through the doors I can walk through still. And you can't plant the seeds I know how to plant. You know, you can be a one, you know, you can be a one little quitter. It don't make no difference. You understand? But they have longevity like your little boosies and your 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 Quavo, your amigos, you have to really put in the work. And that's what the Game Commission and Big V Management Promotion provide. We provide the grass seed plant root of how to do this from A to Z, music industry. We'll put you all the way in there and have you right, man. So like I say, y'all can hit us up on any of our social media platforms. You can hit me up at uh, Jacktown601 on the IG or just Christopher Cotton, C-O-T-T-E-N, on the IG. You know what I'm saying? But for real, we're going to keep it 100. 
And every time you see every city in every state, the commission touched down, you know, two feet in, you know we want to take over the town. We call them boy connected, so you niggas, guess what? We getting down. You know, we do big boy things, and we keep it real. Hush, hush, down low, on million dollar deals. You understand? So it's going to be like that every city we touch down. We want y'all to know that the gaming commission is real. And we in the field, we in every city and every state. And, um, you know, just the beauty of it is uh, all the perks that we get. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's recognizable. You know what I'm saying? We members everywhere. There's no big eyes and no little U's in the gaming commission because everybody getting money. You know what I'm saying? And it's real. We connected everywhere we go. Commissioners, they loving it. And they telling us that, man, my life changed after I joined the gaming commission because we got people, we got some people that know some people everywhere we go. You understand? So whatever you into, whether you're a nurse, doctor, you in law enforcement, or you trying to do, but whatever you trying to do, we connect it. Let's say that. And that's what we, that's what we provide. Them, them all kind of, these are the things that we provide. You know what I'm saying? Not, not everybody is thuggish or do this or do that. We got professional people in the gaming commission. So, you know, like I said, I'm Big Cotton. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of the, the founders and of it. You know, it's, it's about four or five founders, the real talk on it. But I'm probably one of the main spokespersons for it, for the gaming commission, because I'm so out there everywhere. Everywhere you see Big Cotton done been there or he on the way. So, you know, like I say, Y'all touch on us, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, you can hit us up at uh, Big Cotton Promo at Yahoo.com. That's Big Cotton, C O T T O N, promo at Yahoo.com. You can send me an uh, email. You want to chop it up. You want to talk about putting together your next album, putting together your next film, putting together anything that you want to do. You can holler at me. Like I say, the Gaming Commission, we here to provide a service all the way across the board, from the streets to the executive suites, whatever you want to do, baby. This your main man, Big Cotton, Jacktown Gaming Commission, and right now, you in Jacktown Gaming Commission Chronicles 1. You know, welcome to the Jacktown Gaming Commission Chronicles. Today, you know what I'm saying? Trying to touch in with the artists. Trying to stay focused. Keep the game on. Keep the game face on. What's up, homie? What's up, King Flammer? What's up, buddy? What you doing? Man, you know, I was just sitting back chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, looking over some of the stuff, you know, checking the video out and everything and just going over some of the stuff. So, um, how's everything looking uh, as far as um, with the video? We we hitting, we going to hit these spots or what? Yeah, hell yeah. They playing it everywhere. New Orleans, all down south, all out the country. So, main thing we got to do is just start hitting these spots and promote. No. Yeah, so you've been getting a great response. I see uh yeah. I see Tech Nine did the TikTok to it. Yeah, yeah, that was a beautiful thing. Big bro told me that uh that plug that play. Right, 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 right. So yeah, just like we let the folks know out there, King King, King Flammer. He done touched down, you know, you can hit him up at Flammer. What is it, Flammer Three? Yep, at, at King Flammer Three. At King yeah, King King at, at King Flammer Three. You know what I'm saying? For those out there that's listening to this uh, Jacktown Gaming Commission Chronicles, we got King Flammer on the line. You know what I'm saying? King Flammer, you know, out of Liberia, Africa, by way of Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? Touching the charts. You know what I'm saying? We just put it the hit down. Y'all go check him out on YouTube. The uh, the video is called By Any Means Necessary. I know y'all gonna want to check that out. You understand what I'm saying? Because uh. It's just like a little story that can tell you about how you can how life can help you out. 
So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what we got going. And King Fly by the name Means Necessary has is dropped now. And we can really follow up with this second single, you know what I'm saying? Fully loaded. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come back with that, you know? King Fly have been down with the Gaming Commission and Big Cop Promotion for years. I promoted his first album. He was known as the KC Gift. And uh, like I say, man, the man I put in some years together, you know what I'm saying? I done had some splits with him and everything because he done had to go off and do his thing, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's rough out there in them streets and, you know, he really lived his street life and been in and out. You know, I had to wait on him to come out of jail one or two times, different things like that. But, you know, we go through things like that with, with people we down with and so we just stayed down and uh, now we about to touch the top. Now we see the numbers climbing and all the um, social media spots picking it up and, you know, video people picking up. We just had, who we got picked up by on the video? Didn't it, uh, we got picked up by the, uh, what's the boy Puff? He got the, the TV show. What's the name of his TV show? Uh, who you talking about? P Puff P. Diddy. Oh, Revo. Revo. Re Revo picked it up, and they supposed to be showing it. Um, it's a whole lot of these videos. So if y'all go check these video shows out in your town, these little video stations, they would, they should be playing that by the mean necessary by uh, King Flammer. Uh, Flammer, I want y'all to check this out. Um, hit the like button on it. We want to come in your city and let King bring the raw, the raw shit to you. It's like he just did a 420 party, and it was dope. You you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, down in yeah, that was dope, wasn't it? You know, we gave away a lot of prizes and different things, edibles, and gave away, you know, some good smoke, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we did it royally, like the players from the Himalayas, and uh, everybody felt good about it. So, like I say, we'll be headed to a city near you. Uh, Y'all going to see the, the advertising posters or whatnot. Okay, Flap, I'm going to be in your town, baby. You know what I'm saying? Because we touch all blocks. We touching all hood, so it don't make no difference, you know? And you know, it's all love, you know, the real recognize the real anyway when we, when we touch down. Uh, King Flapper, what else we got going, baby? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, we trying to put it down. Um, that, that the album drop in June, the name of the album is going to be Trapanomics. The, uh, the album dropping in June. So y'all check that Trapanomics out. That's coming out by King Flapper. And uh, we got a couple more things. Then we got the follow-up artist. Uh, coming off uh, the above all label, above all label is Chop, Chop out of Houston, Texas, Fifth Ward, Cold man. Boy, kind of put yeah, me in mind. They call him Outlaw CG. Yeah, Outlaw CG. So y'all, if y'all know him down there in that uh, Fifth Ward and San Antonio area, you know uh, Outlaw CG done signed above all and uh, uh, Jacktown Gaming Commission Management and Big V Management, West Coast Division. So. Uh, Y'all be looking out for Outlaw C CG uh, Chopper uh, coming out real soon. Y'all check him out on some of Flamma music on Trapanomics. And um, we're going to just be putting it, putting the hit down. Also, um, y'all be looking out for that boy Louie. Louie coming out of New Louis Louis Rivera. Louis Rivera. You know, he, he coming out of New York. He out of way, Queens or Brooklyn? Uh, Louie from uh, Brooklyn, best he, he from best -Eye. So, you know what I'm saying? He getting ready. Getting ready to strike a deal with uh, the Gaming Commission um, and Big V Management. So, y'all be looking out for that. You know what I'm saying? We putting down the real hit with real. I'm talking about being, this this real deal shit, man. I'm just being honest with you. And um, if, if the Gaming Commission touches it, it's got to be real. Because, you know, the E-boy coming out the field, man, they just said, you know, we just want to do something different with our life, man. So, you know, uh, when they come to the commission, man, we just tell them we're going to let you live your life like you live your life. But we got to keep on moving, man, and doing what we do. So that's right. I got King Flammer on the line. He just checked in with us and, um, you know, just letting us know. What else you got going, Flammer? You get your car at the shop. I know you just bought that, uh, yeah, they tell me you just bought that Maserati, boy. How it's riding? Uh, pretty good. What kind of rims you got on that Four Giajos, huh? Yeah. Yeah, top of the line. I see you doing it. I like that Michael Knight. Uh, 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 what is that? That Firebird you bought the drop top. You don't see many of them, do you? Man, that that's the that's the night ride edition, ain't it? Yeah, I'm in it. I'm in it right now. It's a top job with this car show. Oh, I already know you're cutting up on King Flammer. You all, you, it's only one way to do it. In the way you gotta do it the King way, you know. You know, you know. I'm just, I'm just uh, glad you came on and 
you know, put the put the hit down on the line for with the commission because you know, I you know, I, I don't know what made you do. What made you sign with us, bro? What happened? Well shit, man, I just feel like I got two of the best managers in the game, you know what I mean? From uh from you and Big B from uh, you know, A Wall Records for Big B, you know, Killer Tay and Marvelous and Sebo being some of my favorite rappers at the time growing up, you know, with Tupac and all that. And then, uh, you know, with you, you know, coming up during the Master P, who Master P is one of my favorite moguls who I'm striving to be. You coming up with the cash money days, you know what I'm saying? And all the shit you done brought to the game. You know, I just feel like I got the best managers, you know, two real official street OGs who been from the streets to the corporate world, you know? Like, I just feel like it's a blessing really to have y'all backing me, especially you, you know, Big Cotton, because your life, your life story is a movie, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know. Right, like I said, right here the game commission, we gonna let you be who you wanna be, baby, because you know we represent game, you know, all the way around, getting money easy. You know, like I said, you've been around a, little, a good little while, man, and you know yeah. we've been making it, man. Hell yeah. Well, you know, yeah. we didn't, we we really want to just touch on you, you know, and let you, you know, let the people know right here on this game commission chronicles, uh, what you got going, and, and uh, about the video and everything. We already done shot out, but. Let them folks know, man, why you own this thing with me. What what they can look to listen to that record and all that they need to uh, do. Go on run it to them right quick. Uh, check out that King Climber by me next series on YouTube. We getting uh the streams is going up. We got my next single coming out. Uh, it's called uh, uh Fully Loaded. And then, and then uh, in love with a trapper. I just did a song with this girl named Bree McCray. And both of them was gonna kill the game. So you know. We about to be on in a major way. And then I just did a song with my boy Louis Rivera. And I'm saying this right now. This, this shit over here is real king shit. You know what I mean? Everybody on, with our team is just kings. You know what I mean? It's just kings amongst kings. Everybody rule their own area, their own sections. From the south all the way to the midwest, all the way to the east coast, to the west coast. We just straight kings. You know, all the way to Africa where I'm really from. You know, my family full of kings. So, you know. When we doing this music, I'm just collaborating with Straight Kings. So I want to say this right now on Big Cotton Platform that my nigga Louis the 13th, Louis Rivera, he the king of New York. You know what I mean? And I'm stepping that. And I'm the king, you know what I mean? King Flama. And my nigga Top, he the new king of Houston. He like a real outlaw CG. He like the next Bud B, Scarface. You know what I mean? Louis like the next J, Biggie. You know right. I'm just me, King Flama. You know what I mean? We about to take over this whole music shit. You know? I got some real street OG managers. You know what I mean? You better know it. We got the streets for real. Like, you know, from Mississippi all the way to Arkansas, all the way to Alabama, to Tennessee, all the way up to the West Coast, all the way to the East Coast of New York. Shout out to my Harlem niggas on 125th DU. You know, we just really running this shit, man. So I want everybody to take a look at what, what we got going and keep following my big bro, Big Cotton. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're doing this shit the real way, man. There ain't no stopping us. Well, there y'all have it. Y'all heard it right there. I ain't have to say much, King Fab on the phone. And now, you know, the man's certified for real. You know what I'm telling you? And, uh, you know, I hate that little incident. You know, he even ran to his little thing out here in this field. You know what I'm saying? But, you, you know, he made it through. Them young niggas tried to take him out of here uh, a couple months ago. Them boys tried to get at him because they they heard he was having money. They said, where you get that money from, Flammer? He said, God gave it to him. Yeah. So, like I say, we're right here at the Game Commission Crown because King Fab on the phone, everybody. And, uh, like I say, we open for management. For all you artists out there, we got you. So you can hit us up, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, you can hit us up, Jacktown Gaming 601 on the Instagram, or Big Cotton Promo at Yahoo.com. Cotton is C-O-T-T-E-N. I mean, O-N instead of E-N, like my last name, E-N. Yeah, yeah. So that would have been. King Flama, Big Cotton, Big B Promotion, Above All Entertainment, Jacktown Gaming Commission, we in the building. All right, baby, we're going to touch back on you. All right, baby boy. All right, one. Yeah, that was that King Flammer, man. So like I was saying, you know, we steady be, you know, bringing them up and pulling them in and making the making it do what it do with these artists. And we bring, you know, we start them grassroots. And man, right now, that boy that Maserati is buying cars. Now, you know, we working them with his music. We doing little stuff with him. So, you know, it, it, you heard what he said. It ain't. It had never fail. Our program never fell over at the gaming commission, baby. Because one thing about it, we touch the streets. And when you're in them streets, boy, you know, you, you got to get in it and get it, baby. And all these cities and all through the South that y'all 
northern artists be wanting to come down. It's all right, man. We got all this on lock. It's going to be love. Just come on in and come on in with the family and everything going to be all right. Jacktown Gaming is in the building. It's your main man, Big Cotton. And uh, I'm right here just fucking off the day letting y'all know, you know, uh, how we get down and what we do. You know, y'all can, you know, hit your boy up. Like I say, you can hit me on the email, Big Cotton Promo at Yahoo, Cotton C O T T O N, and uh, drop me a line. Let me know what you' trying to do, you know, like music, film, dance, whatever. We 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 promote anything, you know. We promote ants fighting and dancing. It don't matter. Um, I won't say what's up to that boy Tony B. You know what I'm saying? Um, that you know got a. Game the camera because that's your audience, goddamn. I lost light. Hold on. Probably smelling that good. I got what they like. Yeah, that's right, you know what I'm saying? Shit, let me hit this right here. Just getting down, man, you know. Just putting this shit down. Mm. I got what they like. That's some good right there, though. You know what I'm saying? This shit going down. Shit, what's going on? Oh, that's that boy, Tony Bizzle. That's right. We're going to go down to Tony B601, Jackson, Mississippi. Tony Bizzle, what's up, Jack? What's going down, my brother? What's going down? Man, shit. You know, I was just checking back on you, man. You know, um, <clears throat> you know, you know, you were dropping a few, you know, things on me. So I want to. Just get back at you, man. You know what I'm saying? While we was, I was sitting here, you know, rem, you know, just putting down a few things and reminiscing on the old school. And so I was just thinking about you, bro, and wanted to know what you were telling me about. Run it down to me, baby, so I can understand what's going on. That's what's up. First and foremost, man, like you said, what's up? I'm glad you and the family, everybody's okay. Especially during this pandemic, we all have been through a lot. Right. Um, uh, but last thing we touched on, besides uh, just catching up on how everybody's doing, was uh, I was telling you about the conference that we got going. It's the, uh, the biggest conference uh, in the South, pretty much the biggest conference this year since the pandemic has taken off. Okay. It's the music conference. What's the name of it? What's the name of it? The name of the music. Welcome to 2000, 2021 official Dream to Fame music conference. Dream, Dream to, to Fame. Dream to Fame music conference. It's going to be where? It's going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. What's the dates on there, man? You know? Uh, I didn't hear you. Say it again. What's the date, Sonia? Because, you know, I told you that uh, oh, go ahead. What's that? I would tell you I might want to roll with y'all on there, you know? That's on May 15th, man. You know what I'm saying? Man. May 15th. Right. That's gonna be host it's going to be hosted by uh, uh, radio personalities and, and media prom promoters. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's what they come around with. They still believe in that radio and media. They come out and meet some of these radio all people. It. Okay. All of it, man. Okay. All of it, man. Okay. Um, all of it, man. Uh, industry panel is going to be there. Executives going to be there. Exhibits, you know what I'm saying? Performances. Right. Uh, major fashion shows. Uh, major producers. Uh, because one of the bigger things that we're introducing that we've been working on for a minute uh, is a thing called the Produce the Beat Battle. Uh, right. It's kind of like it's kind of like um, it's for producers, and it's kind of like uh, when you see those artists that usually move into a big old house and they have to have a series of, uh, of uh, contests they go to in order to become, uh, to win a contract or do something like that or another. Okay. We, 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 uh, we using producers. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and I, I, can't, I can't give away some of the, the very credible people. Like, in like, the, industry. like the, it's my turn. <laughs> kind of, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Y'all giving away contracts, though. No, nah, not quite. What we're doing is give you a chance to have placements on major recording artists' uh, music. They get first deals. But we also gonna have some. Give you a little bit. We're gonna have some major artists that's gonna beat on there. They come and say, "Hey, I, I need. I got my next single coming up. Let's see what you can submit for me." You see what I'm saying? Okay. Or better yet, or, or maybe a major production team to say, hey, "We're looking for a couple more producers to do this." And you may have to make some for them. And it doesn't matter what genre of produ production it is. It, it could be rap, R&B, blues, gospel. It doesn't matter. You know, any production. You know. So, and we have several different cities that we're going to be targeting with it and also 
uh, out of the country. We got two spots out of the country because we're not just doing music from the United States the West. We also are uh, international music. Right, uh, right, right. Like that world music that you hear. So it's gonna. We're looking for it to be something really big, man. What? Like you- said, this is a uh, can't give away exactly what networks is gonna be on, but it's gonna be the first. There is gonna be the first uh, recording of it uh, that they also. Well, you know, like like you giving out, you telling us this and everything. I'm gonna just let these people know who this is on the phone I'm talking to. This is one of the first dudes in my city that had a radio station, 90.1 FM, Mr. Charles Evers radio station, where these boys were playing the music back in the day when one no radio stations would play local music. This is Tony B, 601. Now, <clears throat> Tony B <clears throat> does a lot. Tony B has worked with a lot of artists with me. We have uh, teamed up. I was telling about we did No Limit when I had Mac. Man, I had Mac and Mr. Magic before Mac got in trouble. Now, Mac just recently come home. They gave him clemency. But he was on the road with us when he, the weekend we gave him off, the weekend he, the next weekend he got into that, that whatever he got into. And so his mother called me down and we went down to Baton Rouge and she said, Oh, Cotton McKinley done got into something now. And so he, they called me. I came down, me and my people. They called him on the phone. Well, he was on the phone already, and he just explained to me. He told me, he said, I just had my gun in my hand. I didn't find my gun, Cotton. And then come to find out his uncle named Tom had did it. Tom even admitted that the, he was saying he had did it all the time, but they didn't want to do that. They wanted to lock Mac up because Mac was one of the number one top artists in No Limit back in the day. And we had access to him every weekend. Him and Magic, we was taking him off from... Um, Louisiana, because Master P told them, boy, you remember what they were telling us? P said that he wasn't giving them no money. Fuck that. He said, y'all niggas better find a motherfucker and go out there and put I bought your car, I bought your houses. You, I got your records on the shelf. You got to go work your shit. This is my shit. And that's what it was. So them top artists that contacted us, man. You remember that, B? We was doing it. Yeah, people tell them to go out and find people like Cotton that's in there. You know that they can, they can, you, you you got you got a hot record, you got a hit record, you got a uh, every tool you need to get out here and get you some real money on that road. And and those who were smart, they got busy, and made it happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hey, but what's one more thing to bag up before we go too far from that uh, dreams dreams to fame? Uh-huh. I didn't. I know. I know. By, by when they hear this, uh, some people are going to be interested in maybe going. Uh, I want to drop that web information for that for them also. Well, drop it right quick, man. Why do you folks listening, man? Yeah, man. Uh, uh, the contact info, first of all, is 919-944-8869. Or they can go online. Dreams with a Z. The number two, the word fame, at gmail.com. That's D-R-E-A-M-Z-2. F-A-M-E at gmail.com. Okay, and they got that. They got that. And what's beautiful about it, uh, uh, when you go to it, you're going to sign, you're going to see my, my, my record label is Global One Records. Uh, along with, I'm one of the uh, one of the sponsors, so okay. it's going to be beautiful, beautiful man. Uh, very beautiful thing. Got quite a few people from Roku to uh, 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 Prime Video, video Prime. Uh, was, it, was it Prime Video yet? Uh, Quite a few folks on them uh, doing this conference with us, man. Right, and this is gonna be like them old conferences, like we used to do, like Jack the Rapper and all that. The yeah, impact. Real, real, real networking, man. We getting real results. Also, like I said, it's a beauty that you gonna have the right influences up in there that can make a change your life that day. It's not gonna be like a bunch of people hustling. You know me, I'm big on people getting hustled because when I was an artist, that's how I felt. I hate going to conferences. I'm just keep learning after a while because I hate swapping my music with other niggas trying to do the same thing I'm doing. Right, you know, right. Just be honest with you, you know, I was like, okay, I got a whole bunch of stuff, but who did I talk to and connect with up in here who can advance me other than I spent my money coming to this conference and listen to them tell me some, some of the stuff I already knew, but I did learn some more stuff, which says you, you will learn something from the panels. Don't get it twisted when it comes to that, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm big on making sure you get some real, real uh, something for your money, man. You know, so you you you're coming away with something. Um, uh, with, with that with that being said, that's 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 nothing. Uh, Cut. If I can lead into this other one that we got going on. Yeah, tell us about that. I heard you had that girl, Tamara Marie. You know, they got she, the girl got the show with Oprah Winfrey from Jackson, Mississippi. Tell us about what you got going on with her. Yeah, man. This this is another this is an eight city tour that we're doing also. 
called The Many Heads of Women. Um, this is like the background of uh, several different women who have some very, all of them very diverse. Uh, they, they, they have may have been jailed before. Uh, actually, a couple of them have a, uh, what's that channel that comes on? The Unsolved, Unsolved Mystery, Unsolved Murder. A couple of them right, have right. been on, on that show. You know what I'm saying? But all of them now are very successful women. And so what they're doing is going around and getting younger women or people like them so to speak, to help them uh, 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 mentally and also show them some good network how they can, whatever they're trying to do, uh, take their thing to the next level. You okay. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How they can uh, uh, also make it the same way. You don't have to be held down. They're doing it through spirituality just as well as uh, having fun and financial. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but they're showing, they showing you something. My whole thing with all this is you're getting something out of it. Uh, we also want to sponsor some debt. Uh, the first city, we're doing eight cities. We're doing Jackson, Mississippi. We're doing Memphis, Tennessee. Tampa, Florida, Chicago, Illinois, Baltimore, Maryland, Brooklyn, New York, and Atlanta, GA. Okay. Uh-huh. That's the women of many hats. Yes, the women of many hats. Uh, the first night is uh, it's over at the hideaway over there uh, in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, you can go to the many hats of uh, women dot com, the many hats of women dot com, and you can uh, uh, get all the information from vending to get to know who they are personally and then we got a good strong uh, radio ad and a social media campaign where I'm sitting letting some of the ladies talking they give snippets of their story because we can't get the whole thing away okay so it's right. two days each city the first night is on uh, May 8th here in Jackson and uh, it's just a kickoff party networking party uh, we have uh, Tamara Cherie she's the host of it and like you said she uh, Tamara, she is, Tamara Cherie is on the Dish Network over there she's been on the show with uh, Ricky Smiley and uh, what's the other guy's name Gary with the team. Right. She, always come down. she throw this really big she throw this really big fashion show and he come down, he hosts it a lot for her. And now she's uh, also one of the stars of a uh, local uh show that's uh been out there on the no- own network called Bell Collective. She okay. Hosts the as well. Right. And, uh, we are using her and some of her star power to gain some of these influential people and, and some of the influential people also some of the people who I need because they all have a non profit, like I said, organization. All the information in that that will help you mentally, spiritually and like I said, they're trying to also get financial help as well and help you along the way, not just come give you a hype set and something and not leave you with nothing, you know? Well, so that's, that's, that's a good one. You I, know, tell you, good I, one. I tell you, boy, Please. you are an information box today, I see. And, um, you know, like I was telling them, you know, that's what we provide right here on this platform, man. Jack Town Gaming Commission, you know what I'm saying? We're going to give you plenty of information and plenty of leeway and plenty of things to do. And everybody that we tied to out here, I want y'all to know we connected. Just like I said, my man Tony B, he connected worldwide. Whenever I'm traveling out <clears throat> these certain places, I might run the superstar like Anthony Hamilton. First thing Anthony Hamilton say to me, hey man, where Tony B at, man? So you know, you know, all of them, they, they know each other. We go different places like this here. Because we, you know, we've been in this field a long time. Like I say, Tony B seen the development of Big Cop Promotion, the Gaming Commission, and, and when watched everything I was the real concepts behind it, because we're some real gamesters now, some gamesters. And like I say, like we represent this game, man. Getting all money easy, you know? So that's what it is. Like I say, I got my man Tony B, yeah? And that's what it is, man. You right here in the Gaming Commission Chronicles, and this your main man, Big Cotton. And I'm out, Jack. Hey, hey check this out, Cotton. Check this out. Okay, though. Cotton. Yeah. Check this You want, me, you want me to wait? No, I, I got you. No, I'm going to bring you right. You'll do. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I was telling you about my main man, Tony B, right here. 601 out of Jacktown. And like he was saying, he got a lot of things going on. Just like he was telling you about this time with Marie. He got other stuff going on, too. Tell him about how they can win the money and all other stuff you want to tell him. Tony B, and drop your social media to him so they'll know how to get up with you, my nigga. I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm also affiliated with uh, uh, Universal Records. Um, I work with them, also with Rock Nation and Sony. But through Universal, uh, I actually just got the uh, info yesterday. Um, they have an eight city, well, not eight city, they have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen city tour that they are uh, offering out here. And uh, for those artists who feel like they got the um, expertise and want to be seen, or better yet, uh, want to be a part of this tour that we're going to. You also know you're going to get the light. Uh, I have the information on how to be on this tour. Right. As well, with being on the tour, right before I drop the information, uh, it's just not going on there. You're being seen. You're also getting a chance at winning a $50,000 uh, 
uh, single deal. Mm-hmm. And also that comes with a $10,000 cash advance. You know wow. What I'm so if, um, if anybody out there who's interested in any of these platforms that I put You mean to tell me you get a $10,000 cash advance on the money? You get a $10,000 cash advance on your money, man. Wow. That's, 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 that's wild right there. Now, I love that. Which you can put back into your project. Uh, but that's another. That's another consultant job that I do. I tell you about that on something else. <laughs> well, right, I know you got it down. But you do with your money, but uh, you can always holler at your boy. <laughs> uh, well, but, tell them how they can do that, though. I'm about to do it now, definitely, man. Uh, like I said, my name is Tony B. Out of Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, Facebook is uh, Anthony. That's A N T H O N Y. Tony B. T O N Y B. Bryant B R Y A N T. Anthony Tony B. Bryant, that's my Facebook. On uh, Instagram, it's at Tony B. 601. That's at sign T O N Y B, the number 601. Mm-hmm. You can get at me either one of those. Uh, Messenger, you know how the same thing with the uh, Anthony Tony B. Bryant. But you can get up with me with either one of those. Um, and uh, let me know uh, if you're interested in anything. Because each one of the things I've talked about, you uh, you have a chance to be a part of them. Either one of the, the dreams of fame. The uh, the uh, we often bend into all of them just as well. The uh, uh women, uh, the many hats of women, uh, and also, like I said, this tool right here for those artists. This is something uh, I try to tell artists today. You know, a lot of them they um they um say I'm gonna do it my way, do it my way. Either way it go, you're gonna have to be connected to know somebody. And I love the energy that you're gonna do it your way, but you're gonna spend some money. You can spend money to learn, or or or, or, or uh, you're gonna, well, you always when you spend money uh, doing something, you learn it. Or you can spend that money the right way and get with the people who know what they're doing. Like right. Say, we have the credibility. We have the people who know us. We we are we have been in this industry a long time. Uh, we're a big part of this industry. So uh, get at me. I'm a consultant just as well. You know what I'm saying? Music consultant uh, and and management. So and and my phone number is uh, area code seven six nine two four three zero six zero four. That's Tony B. Well, there you have it, Tony B. Speaking world. That's my homeboy. Grew up with him, you know, know. did a whole lot of things with him, and uh, we just keep it 100. You know, he's been down with the commission a long time, and you know, oh, yeah, like yeah. I say, he watched his thing develop and done a lot of ventures with us, you know what I'm saying? We we we, 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 we do a lot of work with this man. So he done told y'all, get at him, Anthony Tony B. Bryant. That's, you can Google that, I'm telling you. You can Google Anthony Tony B. Bryant to pull up him, you'll see him. So. That's what it is, and like I said, we live right here on the Jacktown Gaming Commission Chronicles, baby. My 74 year old uncle. What's up, Big Dad? What's up, baby? I don't know. How you doing, man? Man. Okay, okay. Well, you know, I'm just sitting there. I was just thinking about what we were talking about yesterday. About you saying it's going. Uh, how your mama doing? Everybody doing good, huh? That's good, that's good. Well, what I was talking, what I was thinking about. What I was thinking about you said we're going to have rain the next two or three weeks, ain't it? Well, it's going right Thursday. <clears throat> because I was just thinking we got to cut that ranch, don't it? Or we're going to burn it. I'm going to burn it. I can burn that shit in this time in a few hours. Okay, when, when are we going to do that? Because I want to make sure. We, we need about four days. Four days? Four days. Okay, okay, yeah, I want to get down there and get that ranch cleaned out because we're going to, we're going, you know, I think we're going to start percolating here in a minute. Okay, well, uh, like I said, we need about, about four days of dry weather. Dry weather, okay. Uncle Bob, I was trying to figure out, uh, what, were you Blackfoot Indian, ain't it? What? You Blackfoot? Creek. Oh, you, 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 you Creek Indian? Yeah. 
Okay, I will try to figure that out. Yeah, Uncle Bob Creek in you know, Mississippi. You know, you know, his, you know, this is my uncle. He got the hundred acre ranch. You know what I'm saying out there called the Jakeville Downs. You know, we're gonna be putting it down out there with the big, the big horse track, ain't we, Uncle? Yeah. Uncle say we'll put a concert stage out there. It's got to let up and it's got to let down. If it ain't gonna let up and get let down, we don't want to do nothing out there. Yeah, we're going we to we have it together. Yes, sir. Like yeah. I say, the, the weather, uh, it just got to drive. I can't finish the road. Right, we did. Yeah, we definitely got to get the road. The road is good, isn't it? Right. Uh-huh. You know, Uncle Bob, he do them bulldozers. My Uncle Bob operated his own machine. We got the big bulldozers, the land movers, where we put, yeah, he put the roads in. Yeah, he operate them. Business own operator, you know, we got them big, th- them big earth movers. Yeah, Uncle Bob, I was just sitting there. Uh, dirt and all of yeah, yeah, yeah. It's raining, really. Yeah, I've been saying it's been raining, so it's gonna be re- real good for us when we get to get 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 things going out there. Uh-huh. Yeah, with this particular branch, we're gonna put a well, we got a we got a deep well they putting out there. We're gonna have a catfish pond. We give we gonna give away catfish out there to him, man. You come out there to a show, Uncle Bob say, "Hell, we get a catfish away, hell." That's the kind of heart this man got. This is my Uncle Bob right here, Mississippi Creek Indian. Yes, sir. Yeah, we got a hundred acres of land, man. We are gonna do everything out there. Y'all come, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a Southern Wonderland. You understand the racetrack, the petting zoo for the kids, the herb garden. We're gonna have, we got the uh, cabins already out there. You know, we cook, we go out there and have fun. We got the fishing lake. We do a lot of fishing out there. And it's a real fun place to be, you understand? And uh, it's right down in Bolton, Mississippi, off 20 Highway, off 22. We got 100 acres of just nothing but fun and meditation, and it's beautiful. Beautiful land, man. Yeah, Uncle Bob, uh, I was just on this little thing. I'm gonna check back on you. I just wanted to check on you too, make sure you was all right. You hear me up? Yeah. I'll check back on you later. That's Uncle Bob Johnson, baby. Yeah. What's left? What's left of me? All right, baby. I'm going to check back on you. All right, baby. Right. I need to hold it together. Okay, baby. I'll call you back. All right. Yeah, like I say, we are um, putting together a, a big ranch. Well, I wanted to do <clears throat> mixed entertainment and sports with horse racing. And which would be is is that's the biggest thing in Mississippi, <clears throat> with the trail rides, the horse racing, and the petting zoo for the kids. That's with the garden, giving away food. You know that's the kind of heart that we have here with the gaming commission. That we want to be able to give back to the kids and <clears throat> have a provide a a place to relax, listen to music, learn about the animals. We're gonna like I said, it was a petting zoo with the goats, sheep, different animals the kids can enjoy. And they can even ride the uh, four-wheelers out there. We're gonna have 14 acres of just four-wheeler riding for the, you wanna bring your four-wheelers out. So like I said, it's right there in Bolton, Mississippi, right off 20, turn 22, we're a mile and a half, two miles down on the left. So Jakeville Downs. And this is your main man, Big Cotton, the Big Cotton Chronicles, Jacktown Gaming Commission. Cause he getting the money for the shit, you know what I'm saying? And um, he got married. He married this chick um, from the Dominican Republic. And this dude, man, I say, bro, you better learn Spanish, dog. You need to learn Spanish, man, because look at what you married. And so he married her. They built a big ass five bedroom crib, you know, real nice, you know what I'm saying? And um, he just, you know, he had to, he had went through a lot of shit, man. That PS, that shit that they go through, he had, man, I remember I used to live with him over in the apartments when I first came back to Atlanta, I lived with this dude. This man would scream out shit at night, bro. I'm talking about hollering and going on. And they they gave him what he wanted. You know what I'm saying? My partner living good, man, for off the army. But I say, hell, you went in all them fucking tours? Motherfucker, you should be crazy. Every time you had to get war, they sent him. He had to go. And you know, I couldn't get in it, like I said. 
you know, I don't even know if they would let me went to no damn cadet school. I did see taps when they had them boys in the cadet school. And them young boys took over that motherfucker, and, you know, they had the real, they had to call the real alarm in that shit. So that's why I was thinking when I was in high school anyway, on some taps type shit, you know. But nevertheless, I joined this street army. You know what I'm saying? I joined this, I got out here in the field, man, and seen that it's a real survivor out here in these streets trying to make it, man, and uphold yourself and keep your name real. So, you know, I, I I didn't have to get in the United States Army. I'm in this motherfucking real ghetto with this street army, man. This everyday survival. That's what that's what we really what we stand for. Jacktown Gaming Commission, you know, like we tax the streets. For real. You know, we just you you know, it's just a commission, man. And so that army, that was a big army too. You know what I'm saying? We like we steady getting people down, you know, steady getting crews and crews of people calling and wanting to be down, calling city because they want to be part of this film and music and all this, you know, everything, you know, they can call about anything and pretty much it happened for them, you know, this is Jack Town Gaming, man, we, we putting it down in a major way, you know, like I said, I love it. I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world, <clears throat> you know. Um, I'm rubbing elbows with all with everybody, from the top to the bottom, and uh, it's respected all the way around. Just like it's almost like uh, they say, a third degree mason. You know, I don't care how far you go, you got to come back to a certain level to talk, and you gonna talk to me, and that's how we living, man, right here at the gaming commission. You know what I'm saying? I won't say what's up to my main man, Big V, out there on the West Coast. We'll touch on him today, man, but he's a little sick. But he probably called in, you know. Man, man had a big week, you know, doing major stuff. Big V, big, like I say, big props to him because that's how I got in this field. Big V was working for St. Charles, which was E-40's uncle. And uh, at that time, I had just got out of college. This was in like 1990. 93, 94, I had just left Alabama State in 92, Mississippi College Law. And so I was working with the um, local enforcement, trying to, you know, I was born in the law enforcement. I was working at the abortion clinic with the U.S. Marshals, the Sheriff Department, and a private enforcement company. And Big V, Marshall Tubbs, a.k.a. Marshall Tubbs, made the wrong turn. So when he turned into the abortion clinic, you know, we as enforcement so inquisitive, we want to know what's going on. At this time, this dude was traveling across country. He had a bunch of tapes, posters, T-shirts, hats, and CDs. CDs were new at the time. It was something he was telling me these new coming out. But what happened was... After we, I found out what he was turning around and what was all the stuff in his car because he turned to the abortion clinic. At that time, doing that, abortion clinic was being bombed. They was being bombed. The abortion doctor was being killed because it was being on the abortion in the 90, in the 90, 92, 93, all that abortion stuff was going on. And so um, at, while I was working there, like I said, I met Big V, made the wrong turn. I hung out with him the whole weekend and found out about promotion, how good that shit was. Nigga had a motherfucking knot big enough to choke a goddamn government mule in his pocket. And I was like, man, what do you mean? He said, that's my promotional budget by being on the road. I said, that's what they pay you? He said, no, this ain't what they pay me. This is the money that I use to get things done and pay for you know stuff that I need room. I'm like, like that kind of bread? He was like, yeah. So he told me that he was on a nationwide tour going around finding radio DJs, radio stations, uh, giving out product, getting stations to play the music and putting products in record stores, which was retail stores at that time. I was like, I didn't, I didn't understand, but it seemed fun because I took him out in Jackson. I took him around to all the record stores, which was, he, like, he was like, wow, all these stores like right around each other. 
but it was they was like close, so we, we did the retail. And so he was leaving, and he was like, um, if I send you some promotional stuff, you'll put it out in these stores or whatever. I said, hell yeah, just send that shit to me. I wasn't asking about no money. I was just happy to be doing it. Because that time, getting the music industry, man, that was the big shit. You know what I'm saying? Because music was just jumping, really jumping out. So I was like, um, you can um, send that shit to my address, man. I'll fuck with it. So you know, nigga tell you that, out of sight, out of mind. He was gone a couple of weeks. I was still following what I was doing. I was getting ready to go into corrections. Because I had passed the correction exam, and I was getting ready to start working for the Mississippi uh, Department of Corrections. So I remember, like I just said, out of sight, out of mind, nigga had left. You know, I didn't think about him. I'm back on my square. And I remember on a Thursday, I was supposed to have started. No, I had got a letter in the mail. And they were telling me they wanted me to start, uh, come to the orientation that Monday. That Friday, I got a package in the mail, a box. The box had a letter in it. It said, call me as soon as you get this box. Big V called me. He said, hey, man, can you take, go, to this re to go to the retail stores and take this, you know, all that, that little material, this little box of shit? And I was like, yeah. He said, but well, look in the bottom of the box is a check. And the check was for fifteen hundred, and I was like, "Man, you you gave I get all this money just to take it to the retail stores." So I was like, "Well, shit." I called in to the Department of Correction, told them that I want to come in the next month because um, you know you you can you had up to six months to report if you wanted to be in cor correction. So I said, "I'm gonna start the next month." So it took me two days to take all that shit around. I had my I had enough money to pay because I own my own house in Mississippi. I had enough money to pay my bills for two or three months, so I wasn't just really tripping. So I got back on my square after the, after the money was up, and so I was like, I'm gonna go and go in and just try to go and go to work, you know, go and go to work and go and go to crazy because a month had passed. I bullshit you not on a motherfucking Thursday. I had 15 boxes come to my house. 15 boxes. Big V, call, I called Big V. Big V said, hey man, give me your account number. I'm finna advance $10,000 in your account and we need you to go to Texas and pick up a group called Mafiosos. That was my first promotional, promotional tour with a group because I, I had, he sent me a list of all the goddamn retail stores Radio stations, DJ name and touch, the program directors, um, because he had already pre-did it. Everything, clubs, record pool. At that time, you had record pools in different cities. I had all the names and everything. Oh, how about this shit? I'm buying. I'm, I'm taking off now. So, I meet this dude named Travester Scott. Travester Scott went to Southern University in Baton Rouge. Travesta was keeping up with us because on this tour when I picked Mafiosos up, we went all around the chilling circle. I was supposed to come back through Baton Rouge and pick up Travesta Scott. Now, Travesta Scott was the key man that helped Master P and them jump off. But let me bag up. When I, before I, when I was on the road, I sent Travesta Scott, because Big V told me, send Travesta the... Um, the proposal and everything, I mean, the, 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 all the stuff so we can see the areas that you're you going to be going and you're going to be hitting. I didn't never get a chance to get with Travesta before we went out there and got with Master P and them with all that information. That because we got into a shootout in Atlanta. With the mafiosos got into a real shootout. Fucking around down there on Glenwood. And when you're coming through the Atlanta, Glenwood is not a place you want to be fucking around at. But the Lord blessed us and saved us because we shot all our bullets up. But that motherfucker that was behind us in that jail and we in a 15 passenger van, that bitch had unlimited bullets. And it took my good thinking and how to drive a van to shake that motherfucker to save them more life. But all the windows and shit got shot out that motherfucker. I never will forget that year when I was on that mafioso tour. And this was one of the tours that was provided by that West Coast. And like I was telling them boys, man, when you come down south, they on that money. Can't come down with that gang banging and who banging, but it was just some disrespectful shit that went down. And so, like I say, man, you know, I got into this entertainment and this promotion by 
fucking with the boy Big V, Big V that came in. And then, you know, we just developed this whole thing. We seen that we was prepared for this day. Well, we can have a Jacktown Gaming Commission too because the commission, like I said, is about all these folks we done came in contact with over the years in these streets, man. Everywhere we go, we got some folks that know some folks everywhere we go because they know commissioners be checking that dope in every city that we go in. Please believe me, the game and commission get all money easy. This is your main man, Big Cotton, Jacktown Gaming Commission Chronicles, and I'm right here in the building, baby. Mm.